All right, guys. So after you get your floor stained uh, to the color that you want, um, and you decided you wanted to use amber or orange shellac, um, as far as I know, the only manufacturer of it anymore is uh, uh, Zinzer. Um, it's very easy to apply. It's very easy to work with. Um, it's very safe to breathe in. Uh, there's no VOCs coming out. Um, it's good for the environment and it dries quick. However, that does mean you have to work with it, um, you know, at a pretty decent speed. You don't want to take your time with it. Uh, I mean, you do to look good, but you uh, you got to just kind of run even with it. Now, you, you can't stop anywhere, you know, uh, between boards. Like right here, if I stopped here right now and didn't keep going, it would leave a mark there. So you got to work with it, you know, and, and pick about two or three boards. Uh, run parallel with them and just apply a little bit of pressure. And uh, you want to do about two thin coats, at least that's what the manufacturer recommends. Um, they recommend sanding in between the coats. Um, I've watched YouTube videos of other people talking about it. Um, other people say they uh, don't sand or don't recommend it. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, but you can already see the difference here. Now, as it cures, it's going to lose some of that shine. It'll look more like it is back over here. It's truly a beautiful, historic look, though, to your floors. If that's the look you're after, you're going to get it. Um, but I like to do it after I, I, I get a whole, uh, I call it a row, or after you get one pass over it. Um, I like to go and take the brush after, you know, it's the brush has been dried up a bit. Let me kind of rush this a little bit for you guys. Um, but once you get all the way across the floor, you take your brush and you run it even and parallel with your board. See how I'm doing that, guys? And uh, just go across it. And this is going to stop you from having any um, brush marks or any stop marks in your floor. Um, it'll give it a better final look hope this helps out anyone um, and I'll put some pictures up uh, for the final product um, it's truly a beautiful floor finish I haven't worked with this before it's my first time um, it's very very simple easier than the stain was to put on and if you guys are curious about what stain that was I actually have some here I can show you guys while I'm doing this video um, it really turned out good that's pine wood um, or Douglas fir some people call it I'm not sure if there's a difference. Um, it turned out pretty good. I let two days or 48 hours of cure time before uh, moving forward with the shellac. I hope this guy, this video helps you guys. Uh, thank you.